Sheik. Okay. Classic melee matchup. Yeah, so Antares <laughs> put on the Sheik again against Mart. I think that makes sense. Um, Sheik. All right. Uh, they're going to go right into it. And no. Yeah, it looks like they're just going right into it. Looks like they're going to do it. Okay, here we go. She got a good stage. start. Sorry. What? The last hit. And I'm definitely sure Pug is very aware of this matchup. I think you kind of have to be, yeah, though. Yeah, you have to be when you're a good player. As Pug is very well proven multiple times that he is a very good player. Yeah. And Tarps is doing a really good job, though, of um, you know landing the grabs, making the most out of them in the situation so far. But it's still a pretty even game. They're just trying to kind of both playing patiently. Yeah. They each want each other to approach. Wow. It's it's good combo man. sense right there. Yeah. Trump to back air. Ooh. That was so close to hitting that S smash. I love the ledge mind games. It's so fun. Oh yeah, Marth actually, like if you get a you know good forward air on Marth off stage, and you know he doesn't have his jump or he still ha does have his jump, it's hard for Marth to recover. Like he doesn't have the greatest recovery. Like it's it's pretty good because it, you know it goes really fast, but. Like, if Entarps was to get that hit, there is no way Marth would be able to recover. Right. Now, he's uh, Entarps has also gotten a couple of really good ledge trump back airs. Uh, but it hasn't taken yeah, the that stock was, quite uh, yet. He's getting a lot of trumps against uh, Neko. Neko wasn't yes, really that's right. aware of what to do when he got trumped. He would just kind of go for the re-grab on the ledge. Oh, wow, the puny uh, little hitbox of the reappearance. Pug is definitely aware of that, but... That killed. Yeah, that fit forward air. I, forward air will kill. It's like it's off the side of that. It looked like the softest hit too, but it, it was yeah. like I don't know if Pug was entirely ready for it either. That might have. Yeah, it could have been bad GI. GI, I feel like, is really important for uh, kill moves in this game. And Tarps keeps going for those uh, up airs through the stage too. I don't feel like he's gotten too much percent on that, but he's been going for that quite often. Good position by Pug here, just waits out that air dodge. Forward air takes Very a kill. Good patience, yep. Basically an even match, you get just one stock a piece. Very, very nice movement there from Entarps. Showing proficiency with a lot of characters today, actually. Yeah, Entarps plays a lot of characters. Yeah. Entarps not allowing to get a single hit this entire stock. So oh, far. ooh, okay. Just a little bit <laughs> too early on that yeah. counter. A little too greedy. Yeah, Pug going for the trump, but Entarb's very aware of that. He's just going to jump away. Wow, what a bait. Did you see that micro movement right into not. that forward air? That was, that, was some, that was some classy stuff. Just baiting out a shield option from Marth and getting that forward air. That's some top stuff. Oh, that down tilt, though. Nice. Not a good position for Puck here. He doesn't yeah. have his jump, and that's going to be it. Yeah, those needles will take it. So, and Tarp's uh, taking game one. Game one. I think the needles. That was like a perfectly timed needle. Like, you needled the second that Pug jumped or something like that. Yeah, and, and uh, um, so I didn't have this on the layout before, but Entarp's coming from the Luzu side. is going to have to take two straight sets. Yeah. Win six games. I think we might be looking at a reset, maybe. What? Maybe. Yes, but what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Okay. Uh, I personally wasn't maybe. expecting this. Maybe. Um, I maybe. Those back airs are pretty. Uh, maybe enter is something that I don't. Uh, all right, Neko's. Neko in the uh, audience is going <laughs> cackling, and it's time to expand. Y yeah. <laughs> I, you know, want to see something come out of this. But I don't know what it I'll is be yet. on stage. That was such a weird move. I would have never expected that. That was actually a really good option, though. It covered a lot of things. Ooh! And then Just there's that. going in with the raw down air. Sends Pug to the blast zone. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it had something to do with the stage pick. That's very possible. 
Maybe Pug was Wait. like, we're going to Lilat. And then Entarps is like, oh, I don't like Lilat with Sheik. I'm going Donkey like Kong. Sheik that bad on this stage. Ooh, and Tipper's going to kill. Reverse Tipper for Yeah, smash. Tipper. Tipper's like all around Marth. It has like a small hit back. Hit right, but it hit him backwards. Up, behind him, yeah. Reverse, yeah. Cargo. And the Ding Dong Ooh. combos. Okay, no quite. He's just happy to escape that. Yep. Very nice up but uh. Is this gonna be Ding Dong Whoa. combo? And that's gonna take it, 71%. What a. That was like the perfect percent for him to what get that combo out. What a kill. Okay, um. Entarps, not only yeah, showing. Yeah, was, that was a serious counter for character, definitely. Not only <laughs> showing proficiency with a lot of characters, but showing dominance mm. with a lot of characters. Wow. Um. Guess that was something Pug wasn't ready for. I wasn't ready for it. I also wasn't ready for grand finals. Oh, he's staying Donkey Kong. <laughs> okay, going, all right. They're doing the run back. I mean, I think Pug played pretty well. He he just got the uh, he got spiked early. Uh, so yeah, yeah I, I, I. And then he got hit by the Ding Dong combo, which, you know, if he was at a little bit of a higher percent, or uh, Antares was at a bit bit of a higher percent, that yeah. wouldn't have worked. Yeah, would have no, been confirmed. To, to be honest, I think it. Felt like Pug was not quite ready for the matchup yet, but yeah. I think he's got a no, he's definitely, much better he's handle. Off really nice. Yes, yeah. got a much better handle on this game, but let's see if it's enough. Pug, I think doing that that shield drop tech that was posted on uh, my Smash Corner not too long ago. No fear from Entarps. He just came in while Pug was charging that uh, F Smash Very with nice. the down air. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, counter off stage. Counters the up B. You have to explain that the first drop thing to me, because that means something completely different to me. Oh, basically, like, if you just, if you're holding shield on a platform and you move your uh, analog stick down at, like, a certain speed, it'll cancel your um, drop shield lag, and then you can just Stinky fall legs. through. Okay. It's, like, the easiest way to fall through a platform when you're holding shield. Interesting. Because uh, uh, that sounds very similar to the melee shield drop. Yeah, it's basically it's in all Smash games. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware of that. You're right. I think people do it a lot in Smash 64. Yeah, Smash 64 is like the easiest one to do it. Okay. Because there's no spot not. dodging. Right. Anyways, Entarp's going to go with the Nair there. He's going to keep that up air real fresh. Because Pug, just a few percent away from the brutal Ding Dong combo. Like, if he gets a grab right now, it could be over. Oop. Oh, he goes for the back throw instead. Oh, and he gets stage What a commitment. And unfortunately, not the right one. So, uh, yeah, I think that was that was not the right option for uh, for Entox to pick there with Donkey yeah. Kong. I know what he's trying to go for. He's trying to uh, hit uh, Marth as he came up to the stage with Donkey Kong's Nair. I mean, do you think back air would have helped? or? Nah, I think, I think he should have just uh, avoided Pug all together off stage and just let him recover. Going back to the original matchup here on Smashville. Of course, playing Sheik. Oh, I like this music. The nighttime one. No, I love all uh, Animal Crossing music. Uh, yeah, KK Rider's a little weird, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mo most Smashville music. I have them all memorized just because I play on the stage way too much, you know? I mean, everyone has, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll be in school doing work or whatever. I'll sing them, be singing them in my head. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see if Pug can bring this back. Yeah, um, so Entarps went back to Sheik. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned this while I turned away, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, he went back to Sheik, and of course, Smashville being one of Sheik's best stages. Oh, okay, that makes sense. He, the side. Right, he got the counter pick back, so he has the. Uh, and that's ooh, gonna be a stock. He has the kill. Yep. Example number one of why this is a good stage for Sheik. I, I would argue it's also a very good matchup. I think. Oh yeah, I think it's a good matchup for Sheik as well. I mean, Sheik I mean, being the best not, character. Not like entirely the best. But. I mean, it's not like totally in Sheik's favor, but it's definitely uh, geared right. towards Sheik. Yeah. 
I mean, you can't ask for. I mean, I'm not. You know, we're not asking for like you know 80 20 blowout matchup spreads, yeah. right? Like. Being the best character in the game doesn't mean you have 80-20s against everyone. It just means... Yeah, plus Sheik is very... He's a very hard character to play. Yep. I just said he. Dang. She's a very hard character to play. Yeah. And F-Smash, gonna take it. Pug with 61% though. Let's see if he can pull this match out. I think there's gonna be a reset. Yeah, be honest. It, it looks like it looks to be that way. From uh, I don't know, and Tarps has um, shown his ability to I don't know, just like out punish Pug. I think. Yeah. It looks like Pug is playing a little bit scared. I doubt he's actually scared, but he's probably just playing patient. Right. I mean... Pug? You scared? Ha you have Never. to be, you know, you have to be very conscious of your yeah. decisions when you are on reset yeah. point at high percent, right? Like, it's just, you just have to. I mean, they're both at kill percent right now. I mean, uh, that's uh, true. F-Smash will kill Sheik. That's true, but it wasn't the, that, the, that wasn't the case, like, a few seconds ago. So, anyway. Good trade there for Sheik. Pug can just live and get one good punish. This could be it. Very nice up tilt, though. Ooh. And that will I reset think, the bracket. I think he might have been able to live that, but he threw a down, uh, dancing blade at the edge, oh, okay. and that That's might that have was. killed him. Okay. All right. Reset. And so we're having a reset. <laughs> this, is, this is where Pug gets real. <laughs> he was just that he, he he played that entire set just to, so he could uh, know what Entarps is gonna do so he can win this one. It's all mind games. All right, so we got Neko here hopping on. What's up, stream people? We got it, we got Pug West versus Entarps. You got the run back Sheik versus Marth. Now. Neko, you man, played this matchup. I did play this matchup, and I got How body. do you feel about it? I hate it. I hate this matchup. This matchup is stupid. Because, I mean, I haven't figured out how to really box with Sheik primarily. I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually just analyzing it now. Ooh, Shout out to Uncle, here. Uncle, Uncle, let's go. go yeah, I, I don't really know how to box with uh, Sheik. So, me trying to approach or the space, I will always get hit with like a jab or hit with needles or hit with anything and grab yeah. and then follow up. I just couldn't really hold ground against her. And Pug is doing a really great job. Yeah, Holding ground against Sheik. He's playing really, really well this stock. That's what I was saying. The, the whole first set, he was just he was just re reading out Entarps, seeing what he's going to do. Exactly. That, was a, good, that was a good combo there. Jab to um, Dancing Blade to get some damage in there. I noticed even with that last game, he tried to get a lot of damage pretty much to um, confirm the up throw kill. Good mm. tipper Nair, almost killing. Goes for the forward air. I feel like it's very dangerous to be off stage with Marth. Well, well it, when Cheek has like, when Cheek is in a good position. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's any character. That's pretty much because he has really fast moves, fast hit attacks that go. She's she's stupid off stage. I love Marth off stage, personally, because I, I I fight in the air. I should I should be a Falco main because I was born in the air. But against Cheek, she can throw out just way more moves and have almost the same amount, if not equal, a little less of range than Mark. Like her fair, her bear, her, that's really it. Can't really up air kill off the stage or whatever, but it's still Yeah, we'll, we'll up throw kill. It, it might kill at this percent with uh, yes. that much rage. Ooh. Up throw will kill. Oh Ooh. my god. Okay, was it worth that it? That was worth it. That was, was worth it. That was, was definitely worth it? worth it. No, was it worth it though? <laughs> that was definitely like, worth it. Like, like He was at 150%. It. Yeah, no, no, it's like, no. Wait, oh, he was at 150? Antarps was at like 150, okay. and Pug was at like a, around a little bit less than 90. Antarps, he hits his I think it was worth it. Anytime you can get something like that, it's worth it. All right. It. I'm going to put that in my little uh, <laughs> in my bin of knowledge to read that. All Sheiks are, I mean, pretty much all Sheiks are vulnerable. They're not They're not unbeatable, guys. Yeah. Now, I think Just if, if Antarps got that like perfectly, it can actually trade with Marth's up B. And she could actually survive that. Uh, Maddie G Smash, uh, Sheik 
spiked Marth with her down air, but pretty much SD'd. But Sheik was at like 150 or so. It was totally worth it. Sheik already had kill percent, though. I mean, for a good space for tipper. Moves, yeah. yeah. Not, for like a, not for like an up throw. Actually, I think an up throw, I mean, a down throw up air would have killed, but I think it's not the right yeah. percent. There was Since a that. good DI by Antarps, though, on that down throw. With Pug not able to get the uh, the kill confirms with the back air. Okay. Now this is getting real close. It's anyone's game. Ooh. But you know she can. Did recovery. he tech that at all? He did not tech that. I don't think he needed Dude, to. F O H. We tech those though. Oh good. Uh. No down tilt. Is it over? Death throw. No, still nah. living. Still living. Still living. He's living. I didn't expect that to kill. Good back air. Good back air. Basically, right now he's playing the um, the Pug edge game. He's gonna go for the Trump. I thought he was going to go for it. He did the mind game. He went for it and then, like, pulled away to, I guess, punish the reaction that Interrupts would have forced himself to take. But Interrupts still playing very patient and this not doing anything. This first game is huge. This is... Oh, ooh. no. Bouncing fish. Scary air dodge to the ground by Pug, but... Up throw will definitely kill right yeah, now. Yeah, up throw. Up throw. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Neko, are you upset? A little bit. Um, I have, I mean, usually I say I'm not biased. But I'm you want to see, right I, you definitely want to see Marth win. I want to see Marth win. I need, to, I need to learn how Marth beats Sheik. But come on, like. Uh oh. <laughs> Yo! All right, come on, well, I'm, so, I'm so hyped for the yeah, Uncle versus Wave match after this. Wait, is it happening now? Oh, yeah, the winner yeah, so after, gets, the after winner gets to finals. Choose. We're doing yeah. the. Uh, the Team Uncle versus Team Wave crew battle. So, Uncle and Wave are going to be playing a match on stream, and the winner gets first pick. The crew battle's happening tonight, not on Saturday? This is happening for tonight for Smash on the Hill. The, the, yeah. the first wave, and then they're going to go through and uh, pick do, the, do the draft. Gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, especially for first pick as the winner of this match. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Anyways. I'm just pretty tired. I, I played my They're playing on today. Dreamland now. This is actually a really great stage for Marth. Personally, yeah. I'm kind of, again, biased. Now, what's – is there any really big advantage to Dreamland over Battlefield for Marth? Um, Because, I mean, they're basically the same, right? The, the platforms are different. They're a different height, whereas uh, F-Smash does go through it, I think. Okay. I mean, it's probably better to ask Puck this because I actually hate this stage at the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. The wind sucks, but the properties of the ledges are a little different. The wind helps out a little bit as well, and okay. I believe the blast zones are a little tad different at the same time. Oh, I thought that that was pretty close to taking it. But it's the generic stage that pretty much a Mark main would want with you know three ledges, platform, well, three platforms, and um, such. Yeah. What's really odd, I'm noticing now, the edge of the stage is not that far from the platforms. Not as battlefield, which like a little uh, more. yeah. That does make sense a little bit. Ooh! Um, Antarps was actually dead right yeah, he there. He was dead there, but Marth He did said, not space that side B correctly from Mar the <laughs> Pug West is like, I'll, um, what do you call it? I'll show you mercy by... I think he needed to recover there anyway. I think Pug had to recover. He had to save Antarps if he wanted to live. True. I actually still think it was mercy. Like, you know, no SDs on my part. I want to beat you by one still. Grand Finals. DK Koba left his salt at the venue. Ooh. We tech those. <laughs> Come on, Tarp. Stage bike. It's so hard to tech Marth uh, up the up the stage, I feel like. It is. You, you have, have to, to be you have to be so quick. And you have to be used to it pretty much. You have to know that it's coming. Because if you don't know that it's coming, like this happens to me all the time when I play you. Mm -hmm. I'll get hit by it and then Good as bad. soon as I hit the wall, I'll air dodge and then I'll have like I'll be stuck in air dodge lag and there's nothing I can do. Good there by uh, in terms of skimping Marth at a high percent. That's what he needed right here. We're back here. Pretty much, they're playing like the space game. They're not really committing too much. Good, good answer to that. Yeah, good, yeah, option. good option. I need to, again, put that away in my little uh, knowledge pocket. I feel like up, up B is, or the Dolphin Slash, whatever. That's such a good option for so many Ooh. moves in this game. Is this it? Nah, he's it's oh, he I think he's a Trump he's living. Punish it. Yes! A dancing Blade there. Now Real we close game. Oh. It's looking <laughs> pretty much just like the last game. Ooh. 
I'm surprised uh, Pug doesn't like down tilt whenever he's holding that. Because if, if Seekus is sitting there, just down tilt. You pretty much can't punish yeah. it. But you can hit him off ledge. I, I haven't seen him use that a lot. Like, he, he would stand there and wait for your reaction and then still get him stage. But just. Oh! oh! We tech, tech those! <laughs> Yo, get Thundercat. Yeah, get, get all that salt. All that salt. Mm. NACL. Sodium chloride. <laughs> Season it in some pepper, some salt, some adobo. Yep. I'm, I'm kind of salty because I lost it tarps. <laughs> I lost the interrupts, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Well, who's salty now, though? I know. Who's salty now? Like, this is chance for all that hate, you know. You guys all definitely like, caught that on the on the interrupts cam there. The salt tarps there. Let's go. You know, oh, I really pressed the button, but it didn't. Let me stop. Let me stop. Oh. Uh-oh. What? What? Yeah, salt tarps emote. Yo, guys. Salt tarps? Yo, press one if you want a salt tarp emote. <laughs> we have a Morton salt canister. With Entarps' face on Jesus. it. Jesus. And put like Entarps. Entarps is saying no. Yo. Entarps is saying no. He hears Yo. us. Yo, let's do that. Yo, stream, please. <laughs> we need this. I don't see any ones, Yo. Neko, yet. Spl oh, it's, it's coming up uh, soon. Uh, you're, you're waiting for Yo, it. Yo, splash damage, you're on this. I need you to come up with an image of like. <laughs> <laughs> the, fir the first one you see is Yo. splash. Oh. Are we? Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo, what a, yo, shout outs to all my homies. We got Mars, Roy, Khan, we got Burst, we got Mars again. Oh my God, Curtis. Oh, snap. Everyone, yo, yo, we need that. We need that. We need that. We need that. We need that, guys. Okay, one more. Here we go. It's going to one, smash, one. Bill. Smash it. Obviously, end times pick his cheek. Yeah, Um. one thing that, that pretty much Pug told me, which I'm actually, I agree. Is that Entarp doesn't go Falcon against against Pug? He doesn't have enough faith in this Falcon, which is unfortunate because this Falcon beat the living dog esports out of me, and I don't understand how to fight the Falcon. But then again, I'm not as good at spacing and neutral as Marth. So I feel like the Falcon matchup with Marth might be around like 50 50 ish. Yeah, I mean, I think something it's something like that. Marth is at a really good like weight to do a lot of combos and a lot of setups for Falcon. It's only if Pug can when a Pug. Tarps can pull it off, but I feel that's Tarps' best character. Like, like Sheik. Okay, everybody has a pocket Sheik. Meta Knight. Mm. He has a Meta Knight that's pretty much you know okay and decent. But I beat the Meta Knight, so that says something. Um, he has a, a Mario for you know against Rafi for the counter pick. Legitimate. But like when it comes down to like grand finals and you're at the last, well, well he's actually ahead or he's doing well. So, but let's say if he loses this match, I would go Falcon. I would pull out my best character. Give yeah. it my all and just see how it works, especially if it's not a bad matchup. Like, this is a bad matchup for Mars because she is just great. Like, she's just stupid. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, I was I, I was trying to do the same thing, like, switch all my characters around, but then I feel like that made me worse at my main character, Ness. And now I just kind of stick with Ness. That I, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pick up Bayonetta, but I don't know. I got to say, though, that down air was unnecessary, Pug. Like, what, what were you doing? Like, that down air off the recovery, like, you were nowhere near him. I didn't see it. I saw it. Oh, Ooh, good up air. air right. He made it up. up air. He made that up. He made that up. That was up. good. Mm. I like that. Puck going off. I don't know why he just went off stage there. Probably just to avoid the invincibility. Pretty much. Avoid the invincibility. Get gets. away from him. Mix him up. Because uh, you pretty much have to play a keep away game once they recover. Yeah. Right now, she casts their approach. Like, like Puck. Well, I mean, there's needle camping. But. Needle, yeah, of course. But that's why he's moving up, throwing out hitboxes, but then going away. He doesn't really have to commit to anything. Just kind of like apply pressure, but also force him to recover. I never recover to approach. That's what I kind of learned. I actually did that all all day today. This, oh my god. That's going to take it, yeah. That was really good. Platform assist there. Let's go. <laughs> Pug doing a breed waiting game. Let's go. I mean, there's no way there's going to be a timeout. We got... Nah, no timeout. Three, three and a half minutes. Oh. Good damage there. Good damage. That that air dodge to the ground is not a good thing. Like, us Pug pros should not do that. That was a quick 60. Ooh. Nice. Good roll. Good option. See, I I feel like Mars. Do you know what frame his up B is? Mars up B? Um, it has a visibility frame on startup on the ground, but I think it's like two frames, three frames. Again, don't oh quote my me. God, I don't that's know. so good. It's super fast. It might be six frames, less. But it's, it's like on activation, it's just it's automatically, he's invincible and it, it's fast. It's, it's, it's faster than Sonic. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you love it. You're too slow. That's, that's, that's what Mars saying every single time he goes with the up B. Come on, down. You're too slow. Just down to a grab. Easy. Um, 
we got this percent like actually going the opposite way. Pug had first stock, but now he's kind of playing from below. But he gets this dancing blade off the side, and he's off the edge. And what was that? What was that? Ooh. What are we doing? Down Inter throw. Inter oh, it that was so close. Let's I go. I knew he was going to go for the air dodge mix up too. So Entar has to kind of create space for himself. Nice spot much dodge. He's, 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 well, Pug is Entar in his is going to bounce fish out of there. Hit. And there's the up smash. Like... Entire's not happy about I that. I know, right? Like, come on, like that was like game three. Like, you have another oh. game. Why do you just like come on man? Like Entire's is still in this. I mean it's only it's only two one. It's game four. The <laughs> 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 we got, we got, Let's go, Uncle. We got we got the we got Uncle the, Hype. Oh man. Yo, Entarps, go Marth. Go Marth? No, you wanted to go you wanted to go Falcon. Actually yeah, go Falcon. Seriously. No? Uh, now that you said go he was probably thinking about it, and now that you said go Falcon, he's not gonna go Falcon. I know, right? I'm sorry. Collusion. I think he's just gonna run it back to Smashville. That's yeah, but why? Do. Why Sheik? Like Sheik is not. I don't know. Guys, Sheik. Obviously, it's a good matchup. I mean, maybe right. regardless. I mean, he beat a Sheik last game, you know. I don't I, like I that. Anti-types well, says yeah, damage off of that. Interesting. The um, Sheik's grenade. And I'm like, why do you always throw it out there? It's good to have it out there, but it doesn't really do much for a good recovery. But it does, you know, the outside layer does do damage, which is pretty cool. I wanted to see the Donkey Kong again. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> believe he got that off. Good Trump attempt, but it was just a little bit slow. Good Dancing Blade here. 10% deficit. That up smash was pretty crisp, but not. Ooh, Ooh Futsu. Anything off? No. Nah. Bug spot dodging that crab. Two perfect shields. Nice. Nice. What happens here? What count? What are you I doing? don't know what, what that's got. That counter? What that? Like, what was that? Maybe he was looking. Uh, Yo, I think. I that think was, that was a bouncing fish. Yeah. Read. Yeah, it was. It was bouncing fish. Read or Pug can read minds. He. In terms, decided to do something. Pug was like, "I'm going to catch." Oh! Oh, I thought he was waiting for the air I know, dodge. Me too. Is that gonna he kill? Go yeah, it's gonna be it. Can that go shield? Nair. Come on, Tar. <laughs> what? What? Tar's so so I'm sorry. I love his reaction. It's. So oh, good gift. No, no oh. gift. Okay, I thought I thought he had that. Anyways, Entarbs is in no way out of this game. Not out of it at but all. He could bring. He is back. on his tournament stock right now. This is this is his lifeline. This is like you know who wants to be a millionaire. You, this is your last question. You got one family member to call, but you know they dumb because they. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta like just put all your faith into this one move here, and he got the right answer. Nope, one nineteen bless. Let's go. No, he's at one twenty. Uh, it's like, and Tarps is ruining for all of us. What's he doing that down there? What is this? What are you? What are these people? Oh my oh. god! Oh, good trade. Good trade. That was that was a weird angle that he got. It's oh, and that's gonna be it. Oh, I guess Pug was right. That stuff works. And yeah, there's just silence. So silence. It got so it silent. It got so quiet, so <laughs> fast. <laughs>